Could you tell us a little about yourself and what you can do, Chloe? Of course. I'm the first personal assistant built by CyberLife. We are entering a new period in technology where filthy rich companies and individuals can now get hold of high-quality female humanoid robots at extravagant prices. Have you heard of Whitney Cummings and the sex robot that was created to replicate her appearance? The robot was introduced to the public through the comedian's stand-up show. Interestingly, an anonymous buyer purchased the robot for a huge sum. The doll, according to Real Doll employee Mike Wilson, was the most costly model the business has ever made. This is among some of the most popular and expensive fembots previously available in the market. Today, we will list down several female humanoid robots with their astonishing prices revealed. But before we start, for everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Shalu Dinesh Patel, who comes from a tiny village in India, created Shalu. This is India's first female humanoid robot, and she can communicate in 47 languages, including 9 Indian and 38 foreign languages. Dinesh Patel ensured that ordinary people from different areas of India, as well as worldwide nations, could see Shalu and have a natural dialogue with her. Dinesh's determination to construct a humanoid robot using 100% abandoned waste products, including plastic, wood, cardboard, and metal components, paid off after several hard years of labor and attempts. Face recognition technology allows the robot to recognize humans and remember them through object recognition. The Indian humanoid robot can answer questions in physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, and geography with accuracy. Shalu's hands are flexible, allowing her to mimic human mannerisms and motions. She can also give people a 10-day weather forecast for various locations. An Indian World Record organization approved by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs in India has placed Shalu in the Pratishta World Records book with the title World's First Artificially Intelligent Social and Educational Humanoid Robot Built of Waste Material. India Book of Records and Asia Book of Records have also listed Robot Shalu as the humanoid robot with maximum the most learned languages. With this wide range of functions, it is somehow shocking that it cost Patel 50,000 Indian rupees, which is around 710 US dollars, to create the prototype for Shalu. No date was found on Shalu's retail price, but the total cost of the project deeply shows Patel's innovation skills by making much out of a minimal budget. Erica Erika is one of the most popular humanoid robots in Japan. She is part of a five-year research project aimed at providing a talking companion for Japan's elderly. Erika provides that function for those who live alone and want to engage in small talks and discussions. Erika was built by a group led by Hiroshi Ishiguro, an Osaka University professor, alongside Kohei Ogawa. Ishiguro has long been a proponent of robotics and has developed a number of humanoids, including one in his own image. He constructed Erica's facial features using images of 30 stunning women who respond to questions with facial emotions that are breathtakingly human-like. Erica's ability to reply to inquiries has also improved, as has her speaking, according to the creator. Nonetheless, Erica is unable to move. She is seated, with detectors carefully positioned around the area to assist her in detecting who is speaking and the direction of voices speaking to her. The interesting thing is that Ishiguro has asserted that Erika has her own soul. Tell me that doesn't sound that creepy. Nonetheless, Erika is changing the face of robotics in Japan. She could boost their economy too, since Ishiguro claimed that the Fembot would be sold for around 200,000 US dollars if only it was up for grabs in the market. Chihiri Kane At a tech convention in Berlin, Toshiba unveiled the latest version of its Chihira robot. Toshiba brought the Chihira robot to the ITB travel exhibition to demonstrate what it thinks will become a profitable tourist offering. The machine is located at an information desk and answers queries from visitors. The future development of these Chihira robots might be good not just for tourism, but also for further progress in the technology field. The creators claim that once available for private consumption, each Chihira robot would have prices that would compete with that of Lamborghinis. This means that the robots can be bought with costs ranging from 200,000 to 500,000 US dollars apiece. 
the hotel and travel industry might consider taking one of these robots to make the tourist experience in different countries even more unique. Geminoid F This is Ishiguro's second fembot on the list. Japan just debuted its newest robotic invention, Geminoid F, a female android who can smile, frown, and alter facial emotions more organically than Ishiguro's prior androids. Ishiguro's team and engineers from Kokoro Company collaborated on the project. Kokoro is a Japanese firm that specializes in animatronics and ultra-realistic androids. They sought to develop an android which could demonstrate a wide variety of natural gestures without needing as many actuators as some other androids they created in the past. Ishiguro exhibited how the robot could replicate facial emotions when a woman sat in front of a computer with cameras and face-tracking software during a news briefing in Osaka. They wanted the android to have a believable smile, not just any smile, but a toothy smile, as Kokore described it. The revised design also helped cut the cost of the android according to Kokoro, which will sell prototypes of Geminoid F for around 10 million yen, which is equivalent to 110,000 US dollars. Ishiguro and his associates intend to test the android in hospitals and display it at science museums and other locations. The robot is not yet up for bidding, but it poses a huge promise in the development of robotic technology in the recent future. Sophia and her little sister Sophia is a female social android developed by Hanson Robotics in Hong Kong. She has given countless interviews, performed in concerts, and been featured in Elle magazine, making her a press darling. She is the first humanoid in Saudi Arabia to be awarded full citizenship with more privileges than any other lady in the country. Sophia's attitude and looks were influenced by Audrey Hepburn and Dr. Hansen's wife herself. Her face is composed of rubber, and she wears a patented nanotech skin that can imitate human physiology and recreate human-like actions and facial characteristics. She can convincingly grin and wriggle her eyes, mouth, and head. She is said to be able to express 62 different emotional responses. By putting emotional and logical intelligence into robots, Hansen hopes to ensure that intelligent robots can help, serve, and attract attention while building meaningful connections with humans. Rather than posing a threat to mankind, they will aid in resolving several of our key concerns. Too bad she is not up for sale. You can totally buy her younger sister, though, for prices ranging from 99 to 149 US dollars. Sophia is a 14 inches tall robot companion who makes STEM, coding, and AI a fun and gratifying journey for children aged 8 and above, especially young girls. Sophia, like her older sister, can walk, speak, sing, play, and crack jokes. She is a modifiable instructional buddy for children who will encourage them to know more about coding, artificial intelligence, science, technology, engineering, and math through a secure, engaging human robot interaction. Little Sophia was produced by the same famous programmers, engineers, roboticists, and AI scientists that created Sophia the Robot, unlike most educational toys manufactured by toy corporations. That's quite a catch. Whitney Cummings' Sex Robot You already know about this female sex robot. Cummings gets into a conversation about sex robots approximately halfway through her performance in the Can I Touch It set, then admits she had one built of herself. Cummings claims to have seen a sex robot factory and assisted in the creation of her own doppelganger. Cummings said she got the concept for the robot while attempting to come up with something unique for the set. This robot, born out of a punchline, has prompted a huge business deal for the robot's creator as it was sold for around 80,000 euros or around 100,000 US dollars. That's a huge sum of money for a sex robot. We are nearing a future where we might get to buy our very own robots or fembots at home. For now, these gynoids may be bought at luxurious prices, but we don't know what is in store for us in the succeeding decades. Did the prices and production cost of these robots shock you? Would you ever consider buying a robot for yourself, for purposes at your own discretion? Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos by ringing the notification bell and subscribing to our channel. Hope you had fun and thanks for watching.